Hey there, everybody. Uh, Happy New Year. It's a little after midnight here on January 1st, first day of 2016. Um, it's also the most depressing time of year, in my view, because it's right Christmas is over, or rather, Christmas is 11 months away at this point. Um, but yeah, January is depressing. February is pretty depressing because that's Valentine's Day, also known as make all the single people feel miserable day. And then there's March where it kind of starts to pick up. It's really usually really green, depressing. That's when I all of my worst ideas come to me in February and March. Usually, that's what it seems like anyway. I always end up regretting February and March by the time the next year rolls around. What the hell am I even talking about? Anyway, we just got back from seeing The Force Awakens for the second time a while ago. I took a couple of friends who hadn't seen it before, and Brian, a.k.a. Faf Angry Prophet, had the bad luck to sit next to this really loud, flatulent old lady. <laughs> the whole time, she was just going, she was with her husband, and she kept going, Who's that? Who's that? What's that? Why is it like that? What, what was that noise? What was that? What was that? Is he dead? Is he dead? Is he dead? And then he said she, <laughs> she farted at least twice on him. <laughs> and I don't know <laughs> how he could tell it was her, um, but once apparently he heard it and <laughs> the second time he smelled it. Uh, <laughs> he still thought the movie was good, amazingly. So anyway, we're back here playing Starbound and I'm about to go down to the planet after being hit on by an ape man. Made me kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> um, I think I took all my my construction crew, or some of it anyway, <laughs> with me. So I was planning on going to another planet, but I'd rather get a small colony going. And I, I just remembered I forgot to finish rebuilding my tower. And I'm gonna build this tower, and it's, it's kind of gonna be based off of a, like a lighthouse and a painting that I, I saw uh, that my mother has. Um, and I kind of want to make it like a, a space lighthouse or a control tower. So it's like you're out in the remote depths of space and, you know, it sends, I don't know, it doesn't actually do this in game, but I'm pretending role playing that it's sending out a signal. So it's like, this is a friendly place for you to land, you know, that kind of place. Uh, so anyway, let's go down to the planet and see what happens. So yeah, love The Force Awakens. I've never been so wrong about a movie in my life. I thought it was going to be terrible. It wound up being awesome. Um... I mean, I know there there's somebody who's gonna like some of these nerds are gonna and you know film snobs are gonna go through and they're gonna pick out things that are wrong with it. Like they're gonna find every plot hole, and I quite frankly don't care. I love the movie. Whatever flaws it has, it was great. It was gone going back to the roots of Star Wars, and George Lucas hates it. And at this point, I don't think anybody cares. I certainly don't. He's I think today he said or yesterday I just heard about it today he said in an article that he had basically sold it. It was like selling it to white slavers or something like something like that and it's like dude chill it's like you know, nobody put a gun to your head and made you sell it i quite frankly am upset that they apparently aren't doing anything with the grand admiral thrawn and talon card and those characters but i guess getting rid of them is the price you have to pay for getting rid, rid of the crap in the extended in the expanded universe like the yuzhan vong that whole thing didn't make any sense and they killed chewy in that one i mean come on um yeah, I'm, I'm glad they got rid of, uh, apparently have gotten rid of Kip Duran and Prince Shizor and the Black Sun, you know, the organization of Mary Sue's that's more powerful than anyone in the galaxy. And then, like I said, you've got the Yuzhan Vong who somehow exist outside the force, you know, the uh, this energy that surrounds all living things. They somehow exist outside of it. I don't know. I don't get it. I didn't, I hated it. Uh, Thrawn, though, the Rogue Squadron series, uh, Cornhorn. Uh, the Darth Plagueis novels are really good. I think those are actually part of the new expanded universe because the guy who wrote the the first actual novel in the new kind of expanded universe um, wrote that novel as well and, and referenced it, which that novel was pretty good, um, even though it, it, it kind of ruined things. Like, apparently Plagueis was still alive while episode one or the prequels are still going on, so... Sidious wasn't really a master. I don't know. That that annoyed me, but the rest of it was pretty good. Had a cool character. Cool plot line, anyway. Um, yeah, so... That has rekindled my love of Star Wars. Um, 
and I had started to kind of like I heard Disney had bought it and I was like, oh well, this is gonna be this cash grab thing for him, you know. But I mean, they're they're doing well with it. And, I mean, um, I'm amazed. I'm amazed that the movie was actually good. I was going to see Jack Trainwreck around and blowing me off my feet. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil it for anybody. Uh, just say that it was great. And if you like Star Wars, if you like adventure stories, especially if you like if you like flying around in space and shooting crap, you should see this movie. Uh, like I said, went back to the roots of Star Wars, pulpy space adventure. I love the new main characters. Ray is gorgeous. I'm just like, I'm not saying that because of her looks. I'm saying that because she just kicks. I'm sorry. I'll start playing the game and shut up. But she just kicks so much ass in that movie. So well written, well acted. She's awesome. I uh, love John Boyega as Finn. Finn is excellent, and Poe, the new space ace pilot, is awesome as well. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's if this is if the, if this is what they're gonna do with Star Wars, then Disney buying it was great. Um, yeah, go see it. <laughs> uh, that's one of the reasons I'm playing Starbound tonight, and I haven't gone back to playing Subnautica or The Forest. I kind of got overwhelmed with with good games over Christmas. He's gonna the, the Steam sale is going on, and I got some Steam cards, and I should have some of them blank somewhere in here. I thought I did, anyway. Um, so I was able to get Subnautica and Stranded Deep and Seven Days to Die. Seven Days to Die, I've barely even cracked open yet, <laughs> to my shame. Um, haven't played The Forest as, as much as I would have wanted to. Uh, but yeah. Alright, so what am I going to do? Anyway, if I'm going to start off, I'm kind of going to build up this, uh, like I said, this control tower, and it's kind of almost directly under my, my underground layer, so I'm going to kind of connect the two, and I'll just kind of mine that whole big shaft that I'm going to have to fill with wooden platforms. Um, I'm going to close off all of this stuff and uh, basically make it a stairway going down to it. Uh, so, there's some dirt. There's some dirt. Just filling her in. Wall it off from the rest of the caverns. Hopefully, it'll keep out the bad guys. Uh, let's see what's up here. One thing about dirt is it is an abundant supply, and you can use it to make makeshift walls and all that sort of thing. Kind of, uh, if you need some cover during a gunfight, you just whip out your matter manipulator and have one ready to go. Um, let's see, should I have any zeros in here? Hmm. I don't guess this connects to the outside world, so I'll leave it like it is. Uh, maybe I'll wall it off just to be safe. Alright, so we want this opened up. Um, now the question is, how am I going to get back up there? I guess I got able to get to building me some stairs, turn all this in there, find wood. Ah, there's a snail. I hate snails. <laughs> um, I hate crawly things. All right, I took my crafting table with me on board the ship for some reason when I was going to leave the planet after I got hit on. Um, so let's see. I need a lot of wood planks. Oh my god bunch right now. I'm going to make some platforms get started on building the stairway to the overworld. Uh, replace the dirt. Make sure I replace my watering can. So yeah. Anyway, like I said, Happy New Year to everybody. Glad to be here back playing Starbound. I've been getting kind of the itch to play another space game. I, like, I really like this game because it's basically like Elite, the original Elite, not the new one that's Multiplayer focused. Um, I hate multiplayer, by the way. Um, yeah, this is basically like Elite is if it or Freelancer or Wing Commander Privateer. Um, if you if instead of if the focus was on actually going down on the like doing ground level 
exploration of planets instead of just flying to the planets and trading and all that.